Do you also love unicorns and rainbows? <laughs> and no more fights with your designers. With this library, you can make your .NET MAUI apps pixel perfect as the designer intended it to be. Let's go check out what that's all about. In the good old Xamarin days, we had this amazing, vibrant community, and today we luckily still have, but now it's the .NET MAUI community. Thankfully for both, we have Steven. He has been part of the Xamarin community and now also part of the .NET MAUI community. Um, you probably know him. You've probably read a blog post of him. Um, you might have seen him at events, but most notably, maybe, he put out a couple of libraries that are unmissable in the Xamarin ecosystem, and now he's bringing it to the .NET MAUI ecosystem. One library that he put out there was the pancake view, which still makes me hungry when I think about it. Uh, but that one was super popular for Xamarin forms, which allowed you to have rounded corners, gradients, all kinds of crazy stuff in a frame kind of like control, um, which was really amazing and little sidestep here, but that kind of like makes me happy and sad. Happy because most of that functionality is now available in .NET MAUI directly, so we don't really need it anymore, but sad because we are losing a great library in the .NET MAUI ecosystem, right? But luckily we have his other library. I think he has a couple more, but um, this other one is pretty crazy too. It's the debug rainbows one. Debug rainbows comes in super handy if you really want to polish your UI and make sure that those pixels are in the exact right place where they need to be. Um, one thing that you can do with this library, or actually that library will do for you, is give all the visual elements inside of your running app UI a random color, a rainbow color, if you will. Um, so you can see how it layouts, how it overlaps, how it does all the things. We will see that in a little bit in this video. And the other thing that it can do is overlay a grid. Um, so you can really see like, hey, how do things line up? Are they on the exact same spot where I want them to be? Um, so you don't have to really put down a measuring tape on your screen. Um, this is like the digital measuring tape. Let's just go over to my screen share and see what this is all about. Before we go have a look at how to integrate this inside of your own .NET MAUI application, let's have a look at the GitHub repository right here where all the information is and the code because this plugin is entirely open source as is the case with um, a lot of the libraries out there in the .NET MAUI ecosystem which is really great and actually Steven has been using my GitHub repository template to create .NET MAUI plugins really easily. I have a video about that as well. I highly recommend that you go check that one out if you're interested in creating your own .NET MAUI plugin. It's linked down below in the video description. Um, so you can see all of that here. One thing that we want to do is support our library maintainers, let them know that they're appreciated. One way to do it, super easy, very much for free. Just click on the star here on the repository, do it now together with subscribing to my channel. Okay, great. Now that we got that out of the way, also check out that he has maybe sponsorship set up um, because we want to make sure that these libraries are sustainable and we appreciate our maintainers, right? Okay, so done with that. Let's go to the debug rainbows. Um, here's all the code. There is a sample um, application here as well, um, but I will go over the basics with you. Here is the nice colorful logo um, that has a nice splash to it. Um, a little description of where it's at. It's on NuGet right now. You can get it right there right now. Um, and the API usage, very simple, just use debug rainbows inside of your MAUI program and it will start running. Coming soon, there will be more options. This is very much the V1. More is coming. And of course, there is this repo. I will put the link down in the video description. Make sure that you get your issues in, your feature requests in, and um, Obviously, also a way to contribute back is to maybe consider also doing pull requests with the functionalities that you would love to see in here. Okay, let's move on to VS Code. Yes, I did decided just for funsies to do this video on my Mac with VS Code and also totally not because my Windows machine is broken right now. So we're doing this on my Mac, um, but this will work on VS Code on Windows, on VS Code on Mac, uh, Visual Studio on Windows. It's independent of what you're using to develop your application. Um, of course, it's gonna look a little bit different. So I'm going to install the NuGet package now first. On Windows, Visual Studio Windows, you can just right click your project search for plugin.maui.debugrainbows and you can install it that way. I'm sure you're familiar with how to do it. In VS Code, um, there is extensions to manage your NuGet packages, but I'm just going to do it by hand. So let's just open my csproj. This is just the file new, um, the .NET new um, MAUI template, actually. I did it through the command line. Um, so you can see that right here, I didn't change anything yet. And if we scroll down here, we can see the package references for MAUI right here. I'm just going to copy one and I'm going to here say plugin dot maui dot debug rainbows 
And I think there's even command line tools to do this nowadays, which is really cool, but I like to do things manually. I know the version is 1.0.1, the latest version that's out there right now. Um, I'm saving that and you can immediately see some things popping up. It's going to restore the packages and get that inside of my project. Now, like I said, the only thing that we kind of need to do is go to our MAUI program and here in our MAUI app builder say, use debug. It doesn't pick up on the IntelliSense yet, rainbows. Oh, there we go. IntelliSense caught up and do that. And if it doesn't do this automatically, make sure that you add this using plugin Maui debug rainbows here at the top. It will then pick up on this extension method and now you're good to go. Um, the, let me just run it actually. So I'm going to say P pick Android device. I'm going to run it on Android first and then here go to my run and debug menu. So let's just do that. And it's going to come up on my um, Android emulator, which I have open right here. And whenever I do this, you're going to see that all my controls now have a funky color. I didn't really show you the before, um, but I'm sure that you know what a new .NET MAUI project looks like. And now we're going to see it with the debug rainbows and all of my controls are going to have funky rainbow colors. Now that's also kind of like the downside right here. Um, you really have to only want to enable this line in your MAUI program whenever you're debugging and probably not even all the time when you're debugging. So you really want to make sure to comment it out or comment it in whenever you actually need this. So this is very much a debugging tool. Um, I'm sure that Steven is thinking about or appreciate your input about how um, he can make that easier to kind of like maybe switch that on and off um, through some hot reload mechanism. Um, so that it can be done dynamically whenever you're actually running your application. Um, so that's all input that you can provide here. Here, our application is coming up and we should see a rainbow full in your face. There we go. So you can see like all the different colors right here. This is our image. This is a label, label button and the whole background, see? So we do, and actually if I rerun this again, so if I just um, actually stop running this and I go back to my Android emulator and I start it again just without debugging, we will probably see new colors. So this is not persisted in any way. This is just a debugging tool for you to kind of like visually inspect what's going on with the layout of your um, different controls right here. See, so here we have a new set of um, 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 colors that you can use inside of your application. Now, like I said, if you want to um, um, kind of like disable this, you have to go back into your MAUI program and, and comment out this line. So this is very much a debugging tool and, and code developer tool. There's things coming to make this easier. If you have any input on that, please let Stephen know on the repository. But one cool thing, and Stephen might not like me to advertise this right now because he's been keeping it under covers, but I've been snooping around the code and you also already have access to kind of like the grid um, that will make you see like, hey, is everything in the correct line? Is everything like, I don't know, laid out and stuff that develop designers say? I don't know what designers say. I don't interact with designers that much. Um, and how you can enable that right now is is by adding a grid kind of like around all of your controls right now and do that here. So inside of the contents of your page basically and say slash grid, slash grid. And then we have a debug grid which is inside of the code right now. Steven didn't really want us to know about it just yet. He's keeping this for the next version, but it's already in the code. So, and it's open source, right? So there's no secret there, Steven. Um, so we have the debug grid right here and we can now, we need to add this um, XML namespace for that. XML, XML and S, um, let's name that rainbow is CLR namespace. Uh, we're working on the IntelliSense for the .NET MAUI uh, VS Code extension. It's coming, it's coming. But right now I need to remember by hand how to type all this XAML. Luckily, I have some experience. Plugin.maui.debug rainbows. And I also need to specify the assembly because it's in a different assembly is plugin.maui.debug rainbows. And now it should know where to find this. I need to prefix this right here for that debug grid. Um, so what I've been doing now is kind of like add a using statement, but the XAML way. So we are doing this XAML namespace. Um, I have this short name right here and this short name is basically short for this whole thing here. So we're going to say like, hey, we have a shortcut to this namespace, which is in this assembly. So you know, there you have it. That's it. And now I can just say rainbow debug grid and that's it. You will have to do it like this with a grid and then a grid like at the bottom of the thing so that it overlays all the controls here. That's what happens with a grid. If you don't really specify the rows and the columns, it will just overlay in the same um, grid in the same view. So if I run this now, you will see that not only will we have the funky colors, 
Um, but we will also have a very cool grid right here that you can kind of like use to see if everything is um, laid out correctly. I've done something wrong here, cannot resolve, serial alarm namespace, debug rainbows, what did I do wrong? Um, let me just look at my cheat sheet right here really quickly um, and copy that over. So because I probably missed something, let me see. What did I do? Oh, dot control. See, so I missed the controls right here. So you need to really know a little bit about where it is in the library, but it's open source, so we can totally do that. And now you can also see I make mistakes too. Um, so we now got the right namespace right here. So I, I forgot about this dot controls. Um, and what we should see now is our um, Android emulator coming up. And we will have this cool grid with like a little bit thicker lines for every like fifth box. Um, so that you can also very easily visually spot like, hey, what's going on there? And if this is laid out correctly, yes or no, is it exactly in the center? Because I can just follow that line and see if something is laid out um, completely in the center. So this is in the code right now. You can use it in the way that I just showed you. And this will be enabled in the library a little bit later for you easier to toggle and, and use as well. Um, but this is what you can do with Debug Rainbows, super cool library. Obviously, if you run this on iOS, you will see the exact same thing and make sure that the design is pixel perfect on that platform as well. What do you think? Is this amazing or not? Let me know down in the comments if you have any feedback on the library. Let Steven know on the repository. And if you're thinking about, hmm, maybe a career as a .NET MAUI plugin maintainer would be something for me, go check out that video that I've mentioned right here, right now, and I'll see you for that one.